Light up the world with a little more truth I got a couple more words The second thing is the extra monster zone. So they changed the entire goal of the game where uh, you can't summon from uh, monsters from your extra deck unless they're in the extra monster zone or unless they're in a link zone from uh, that you have with a link monster, which really changes the game. Um, I'm going to make a discussion video about it later, um, but pretty much so if you summon like a fusion or a synchro or an exceed or even a pendulum monster if you pendulum summon a pendulum monster from your extra deck it has to go into your extra monster zone the cool thing is that it's a six monster zone so um it's kind of like they're, they're giving us more like um space on the board but the problem is is that uh it kind of hinders a lot of uh, freedom that decks used to have and it's uh, controversial because it's like, sh should we really have like stopped like everything from just saying, okay, I want to summon like two exceed monsters, but you know I can't because I only have one zone. Opportunity if you summon like formula synchron, if you synchro summon that, and that goes into your extra monster zone, and you have another monster on your board, you can synchro summon again just as long as you use formula synchron, and the next synchro monster you summon goes into your extra monster zone honestly I I, um, I still don't know how to feel about it like they're forcing us to use link monsters pretty much they're kind of forcing us to get uh, j just to buy product honestly because you know like unless you have like a real self-sufficient deck where you don't need extra deck at all um, then you, you, you're probably gonna have to buy one of these and you know same thing works for rank ups uh, they did fix the whole thing with uh, Bahamut and told you won't be able to do that first turn unless you also bring out a link monster like the cold talker and then you go into Bahamut, and then you go into Toad. But, you know, I don't think... I, I think you need at least five monsters for that. I don't think you, you'd be able to do that without giving up your entire hand. And um, I, I think that's way more uh, balanced than what we had before. So, you know, it does have its uh, highs and lows. But, yeah. Again, just make sure that you summon your extra deck monster into one of your extra monster zones first. So, if you have... Um, a link monster in your extra monster zone, then the, the zones that they point to, you can also summon extra deck monsters in those zones as well. It's kind of fair, but uh, it's way different than, you know, anything we've ever seen before. And it's a really fresh start for the game. Like, it's, it's kind of, it feels like a refresh for the game, in, in my opinion, because they're slowing the game down so much by adding, uh, adding these new mechanics. But yeah. So, you know, the two extra monster zones, um, when you pick one, your opponent has to use the other. So you, when you pick, so when you summon a monster into one, your your opponent has to use the other one for the rest of the game. Um, and you have to use that one for the rest of the game. The, the zones may matter a bit. Um, Blasting Fuse um, is, is still, it's probably going to like get like a secret rare reprint somewhere along the line <laughs> because of like this, this new mechanic. Because zones are really important now. And uh, if you set that in your extra monster zone, you know, in the zone below your extra monster zone, then it, it, it might be pretty crazy. Or the zone below your opponent's extra monster zone, <laughs> it, it could really do some damage. Uh, especially when, let's say they have a link monster, they summon their tuner, they summon their non-tuner, and you're like, oh, okay, Blasting Fuse, pop my monster, your link monster, the monster under it, and, and your freaking back row, and it's going to be like, oh my god, like, <laughs> like you just killed their entire play. Um... So you got to be careful of the zone you put it in, um, which really is going to cause some games to be like chess because you're going to be like, okay, what zone should I put this in? Like, where should I move it to? Uh, Sinet Switch, like, please just don't, all right? It's it's not that good of a card. Um, it doesn't do anything. Like DP Yu-Gi-Oh said, it's, it's, it's just, just don't, all right? Like, it doesn't do anything. Uh, like, you, you can consider it smart um, considering what it has a potential to do but you would need another card to do it with which is the problem with the card it doesn't net you not enough advantage to be worth a slot in your deck now the same thing can be said for ground collapse it, it has its uh, controversy behind it as well but yeah uh yeah i, I guess that's it for the extra monsters on hey hey you just uh don't forget to click like if you made it this far into the video i mean i'm not begging your likes but you know whatever also, there's a part one of this video. Uh, check it out in the link in the description.
Uh, why am I whispering? I don't know. 